stage of the 2013 Junior Tour took place in Ennis County Clare. This six day international junior race is unique and has already produced quite a number of Grand Tour contenders. One of the early starters was number 10 Paul Rugy from Cycling Amsterdam, no doubt one of the bright hopes for the future. Justin Van Empel of Tempel Bruns Veldhoven was another international competitor, shown here wearing number 14. Eddie Dunbar, racing with number 2, was selected to ride for the Stena Ireland team and with a number of impressive wins under his belt, is a great prospect for this race. David McCarthy, donning number 38, was lined out for the Nicholas Roach performance team. Already this year they have collectively captured many of the top junior races and are touted to be strong contenders for the individual and team prize. Thomas Fallon was wearing number 4, again riding with Dunbar on the Irish Stena team. Mark Downey took the win on this opening stage, ahead of Eddie Dunbar 5 seconds and Dylan Foley 8 seconds in arrears. Stage 2 took the riders on a 118 km loop finishing in Bearfield, East Clare. Mark Downey racing in the Nicholas Roach performance team started the day in yellow just 5 seconds ahead of Eddie Dunbar with Dylan Foley sitting 3rd at 8 seconds. After yesterday evening's time trial, the race for overall honours would commence on the roads of Clare in earnest, with five challenging days ahead. Plenty of tension as possible future stars lined up and rolled out through the neutralised section before the start proper at Clare Castle. The first attack of the day came from Quentin Valognes of the American Novo Nordisk team, one of many international teams on the Junior Tour. The second attack of the day which transpired to be the main move of the day was started by an inform Eddie Dunbar with Traca Baptiste of the Paul Espoir de Can, Fintan Ryan of the Nicholas Roach performance team, Cale Cohen of Castle Bar, and Dylan O'Brien of the Monster Sensation 1 team. On the first King of the Hills, the break was reduced to three riders Eddie Dunbar, Dylan O'Brien, and Traca Baptiste of the Paul Espoir de Can team. Working very well together and recognising the opportunity for general classification places, they commanded a gap of 2 minutes 30 seconds through Killaloo. On the final climb of the day, Dylan O'Brien dropped back and lost time rapidly, the effort from the day taking its toll. With just Dunbar and Baptiste left out front, their gap dropped to 1 minute 20 as they turned onto the Gord Road. The bunch was intent on reeling in the duo, and with 10 kilometers to the finish, the break was finally caught. The pace was kept high in the run-in, with Jack Sadler of the Munster Sensations team taking a magnificent win, with Harry Franklin of Veer de Veer Cycles in second, and Chris van Brussel of the team Temper Bruns Veldhoven in third. I'm with Jack Sadler, Stage 2 winner of the Junior Tour of Ireland 2013. Jack, how did you set yourself up with a sprint? Well, the plan was to get a few guys up the road early on. And uh, we did that. But on the first stage, everyone's got fresh legs, so it's always going to come back together. So I just had to hang in there over the climbs. And the guys did what they could at the end for me. And uh, managed to get some free road there. And, Get the sprint going and yeah. Mark Downey, stage two, yellow jersey, 2013 Junior Tour of Ireland. Mark, how are you feeling today? Oh Jesus, I'm over the moon. My birthday and actually I managed to hold on to my yellow jersey for a while today. I was actually starting to panic on the road with uh, Eddie Dunbar, getting up the road and for quite a quite a long stage. But uh, you know, I kept my kept cool and I, I used my teammates. You know, and it just worked out perfect for me. How did you find the course today? Um, I find the find the course you know, a wee bit, you know, just to be shocked to the system because I haven't really had a race, you know, in two weeks. So uh, it was just just out today, you know, to get the legs loosened up after the time trial last night, and uh, you know, just just went from there. 2013 Junior Tour of Ireland. I'm with Eddie Dunbar. He takes the uh, King of the Mountains on stage two. Eddie had a long day out in the road there. He, uh, he was probably away from most of the stage. Uh, how did it work out there for you with your uh, compatriots? 
Uh, it was alright, Dylan O'Brien was working as much as he could. Um, but I think we over the client, he just worked a bit too much while the other lad wasn't doing much. Um, I don't know why, because he would have moved up to second overall if he actually worked. So I have no idea why he didn't work. But no, in fairness to Dylan O'Brien, he did work as hard as he could. But you're, looking, you're looking at the yellow jersey? I was, I was hoping, but uh, there's a long week there yet. So uh, we have till Sunday to get it. So long way yet, long way to go yet. No change overall as Mark Downey retains yellow, ahead of Eddie Dunbar and Dylan Foley.